YouTube, 12.75 unique views a month. So we know a lot of people from Australia are watching YouTube. Now, yeah, there's a lot of rubbish on there, but there's also a lot of great marketing stuff on there. This is an example of a company. Now, this company 10 years ago, Digital Rev, had an eBay store selling camera gear. That's what they did. And um, it's very hard to see how many subscribers there are, but there's like millions of subscribers to this channel. And all they do is they review camera gear. And this guy on the left, his name's Kai. The guy on the right, his name's Locke. Locke's the cameraman. Kai's the, the main guy. He's actually a, a, an English guy who now lives in Hong Kong. And, uh, and he's quite entertaining. He does these entertaining videos somewhere between 7 and 11 minutes and they're of a review of some equipment. Why would he do that? And he does it every week because they have this store now, this online store. And I can tell you they make tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. They just... Uh, I bought my lenses uh, after watching You bought your lenses after watching them, yeah. So it's just an example of how a business... Now, they could have said, oh, but I'm just a small eBay shop in the beginning, but here they are now dominating YouTube. Never, ever in their videos do they say, buy from us. Never. So it's just good quality content. That's all it is. Good quality content going out, educating people about the latest gear. You could be doing the same thing. Here's a few other ones that I thought were good examples. P plater mods. Now that could be somebody who's a mechanic selling things for P platers to beef up their cars and make them fully sick, dude. You know, like, <laughs> could be. He's got twenty something thousand um, subscribers for that channel. Uh, Greg the gardener. Greg the gardener. Once again, he's just putting gardening tips up there. But if you want a gardener and Greg's your local guy, you'll probably ring him. Once again, he's got thousands of subscribers. And then the one underneath his name, Shane Conlon. It's very hard to read it. Um, but he says something about being the best DIY. It's a DIY channel. Same thing, learning how to do... But he's a handyman that you can hire. Once again, this is just examples of small businesses or, or individuals that are utilising YouTube because not only does it get them uh, leads, it also makes them the authority because they've got their own show. It makes them an authority in their, in their game. Now, here's some other bigger companies that are doing the same thing. Bunnings, Mitre 10 and ARB. Now, that surprisingly do not have as many followers as Shane the DIY guy and Greg the gardener. They just don't. So it's about individuals attract, indivi like people would rather watch people than subscribe to a company. Although Bunnings got about 18,000, and I think, you know, Bunnings, if they were smart, would really push their YouTube channel even harder because they could have so much help for stuff on there, and of course, they're only gonna, you know, teach you stuff that you can buy in their warehouse. And this is where people are turning for it. How many of you have used YouTube to learn how to do something? Who's done that? Right, hands up nice and high. Have a look around the room. Now, a lot of you are thinking, oh, but Ben, my business is different. I've got a mate, been a client for about seven years. That's how I became a mate. He's coached by my team. He has a pest control company. And he started putting videos up of termites <laughs> that he found. Because he's a termite specialist. And most of his business comes off of YouTube. And all he'd do is when they got, he would just video termites and just, just educate people as to what termites do. That's it. He's now the expert, guess what, on termites. Everyone knows who he is. <laughs> um, and I include this one here, Nash Greer, G-R-I-E-R. -E I suggest you go and look at him because this kid's got 4 million subscribers. He started his YouTube channel when he was 14. I think he's now 19, so he's been here for five years. And he started it just for a bit of fun, doing stupid videos with his mates and just sort of following his life as he was growing. He now has an online store that sells merchandise with his name on it. <laughs> Don't think YouTube's powerful? It is a very powerful platform, very powerful. Of course, the other thing is that when you, people do a search on Google, YouTube is one of the sites that is ranked very, very high. It is also one of the things that Google looks at when ranking your site for relevance. So if you have 50 videos, you'll get better ranking. No, no. Yeah, just get it set up. Even if you just put a video, a, vid a video. <laughs> I sound like those waskily wabbits. I'm going to throw a wok at them. <laughs> Even if you just put one video up a week. And here's the thing is, most people, the, ch the reason why they don't do something like this is they wait till they can do it awesome. And then, well, that never happens. You've all got HD cameras in your smartphones. Once a week, make a quick video. That's all you've got to do. In fact, what's more important than the video is the audio. 
So buy yourself a little, like I said, I've got the Zoom H2N. It's just a digital recorder. Plug a microphone in, put it in my pocket, put the microphone here. I can stand in front of an iPhone and record myself with good quality HD video and good quality audio, and it costs me very little. If you want to, I think Rode make a mic called the Lav Mic that goes straight from here to your iPhone, plugs directly into it, and it's 60 bucks. No excuse not having good audio and recording video. And even if it's just you once a week standing in front of the camera for three minutes and just saying something that's of interest to your group, that's good content. That's it. Okay, you, you've got, you, you, people undervalue what knowledge they've got up here, but people would love to hear what you've got to say. And, you know, I know we've got some fitness people here, the girls that are from up in Newcastle. Yeah, you could put fitness tips on how to do things like planking. <laughs> You know, you could do, you know, seven three-minute exercises you could do to get fit before you go to work. That channel, there's a channel in Canada of a woman who runs a cleaning company, a house cleaning company, and she has a channel on YouTube teaching you how to clean things. And it gets her so much traffic that people around the world wanted to come and clean their house. How to clean X, how to, how to get chewing gum out of hair, how to get... That's it, that's simple, but these things are very, very popular. 